Hi and welcome. In this video, I'm going to give you a helpful e-learning day tip. Specifically, I'm going to show you how you can make a module for an e-learning day. So if you're not familiar with modules in Canvas, I would recommend looking at some of our tutorial resources. But basically, modules are a feature in Canvas that act as folders. That's really what they do. But there's also a few more bells and whistles. So there are the way to organize your materials so they make sense to students. They guide students through a collection of resources, links, or activities step by step, and it makes it super easy for your students to access e-learning materials afterwards. So you can certainly build an e-learning page, you can build an e-learning assignment if you would like, but the key piece is that if you put it all in a module, then it's really easy for students to find it afterwards, and we want that to be the case because our students have three days after an e-learning day to meet those objectives, to do the work, and we want to make it as seamless for them to get there as possible, and modules are the way to do that. So if I am in my Canvas course, and I'm right now in elementary view, but it's very similar to what we do in the traditional or secondary view in Canvas. Elementary, you just have to click Manage Subject. Secondary, you'll just click the Modules button that's going to show up here in a second. But if I want to make any learning module, once I'm in this view, on my left-hand toolbar here, there's a button that's called Modules. And if I click there, then I'm going to see any existing modules that I already have. And if you don't have any, that's also okay. But if I click the plus module button, this is where I'm going to get started. So you have a couple of ways that you can build modules. You can go and make assignments in Canvas first or make pages in Canvas and then plug them into a module afterwards. Or you can start building a module and be building those resources as you go. It's really up to you. Just know that you can put anything in a module. So whenever you finish making your materials, just make sure it ends up in that space. So if I click the plus module button, all right, then I'm just gonna give us a name. So I'm gonna do e-learning lessons. All right, and I'm not gonna mess with these other settings. I just want students to be able to access this anytime, anywhere. But if I click module, it always puts it at the bottom of the page. So I'm gonna hide some of these other modules that I already have, and I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom. And this is kind of a helpful tip for you to know. Wow, I have a lot of modules in this class that I did not know I had in there. Goodness. Okay, here we go. Here's the one that I just made. My suggestion is always drag the module that you want to be super visible and easy for the students to find to the top of the page. Otherwise, they're just gonna keep scrolling. So I think it's helpful if you do that, just so it's easy for the students to get to and not be scrolling. The more time they spend scrolling or the more time they click on different things, the more likely they are to get lost. We want to reduce some of that and make it easy to navigate. So I'm here and right now this is all my module is. So it's just this placeholder right here. So to start adding to this module, it's a little deceptive. I'm not going to click here to add files. This is only going to pull files that are saved on my computer, like PDFs or Word documents, and that's probably not what you want to do. If I want to build a page or add an assignment to my module. I'll click the plus button, and then here we go. It's always typically going to take you to assignments first, because that's one of the most popular tools in Canvas. But if I want to build a page that maybe has all of my instructions and links for my students that day, I can click page. If I already have a page that's built, like what I have right here, this is where I can select that and plug it in to this module. If I want to make a new one from scratch, because that's the way that I'm going through my module building process, I'll do create page, the very top, and this is allowing me to make a new page. So I'll just make this e-learning information. And you have some options here. Indentation just makes it look visibly a little bit different in a module. My practice is that I always double indent assignments. So it's more in the center of the page. And I trained my students to know that indented on the page means that that's something you have to submit and turn in, but that's just personal preference. All right, so I put that there. I'm gonna do add item. All right, so it just has kind of a blank page right there. You can go in and start adding more to it. And make sure you do do that because otherwise it's just this blank page with nothing. Um, and it's not published either. So when you're building things from scratch here in a module, know that it's adding them and not publishing them just because it wants to give the teacher the control to do that. But I can publish everything all at once once I get going. So let's say I also am going to have my students turn in an assignment to me. Maybe they're learning about 
Uh, ancient Mesopotamia, that's something I used to teach, and I want my students to create some type of reflection on what they've learned. So I'm going to give them options on any learning day because we know that our students have different internet access. So not every student's going to have a lot of bandwidth for them to create a video. So maybe I want to give them the option to type something out or to write something out and they upload a picture or they can build a model or something that relates to your goals and objectives for the day. But the Canvas assignment is a really good option for you to set up as a, as a place for your students to turn in work because they can attach pretty much anything to a Canvas assignment. So if I click the plus button, I'm going to act as if I'm making a Canvas assignment. So we'll go to add and I'll do assignment. And if you already have one built, like what I do right here, I have an e-learning assignment, then I can just add it. If I'm creating from scratch, same thing like what we just did here with pages. I give it a name so I can do Mesopotamia reflection. And then I like to double indent mine, but that's again, just personal preference. So I'll add the item and then I'll just keep repeating. If I need to add more pieces, if I need to add in a quiz, I can do all of that right here. If I just want to add a link to a website my students want to go to, if I click the plus button, external URL, I can send them to a website. So maybe they do some research on ancient Mesopotamia or I send them to my Google Slides and I just put my Google Slides link right there. You have a lot of flexibility. All right, so we've built out some of those pieces. Now, if I wanted to go and actually add content to this e-learning page, my hack here is I like this to open in a new tab because I want to keep this module open on my screen. So I do control and then I click on the name, the top of my screen, it just opened that page on new tab. And I do the same thing here with this assignment, control click. If I just clicked here, it would take me to this assignment, but I like to have my module open here on this page so that whenever I'm finished editing these things, I can publish it all at once and one full swoop. So if I come across here to the top of my screen where I have this e-learning page, this is probably where I would go and I would type out all of my instructions. All right, I put that there. Know that this is a page on Canvas so I can add in links to outside websites or within Canvas like to my assignment maybe. I can upload pictures, I can record audio and video, and it's super helpful if you record yourself giving instructions that day so that students can listen to you, especially if they're still striving readers or they need that option. If I click the little three dots button, I have even more. I can pull in files from my Google Drive so I can embed my slides or documents if I need to. And then another really cool piece is that if I click this plug button, there's even more. So if I click view all, this is where I can also add in materials from my textbook. So for some of these, they are adopted textbooks for some of our middle school and high school teachers. But if I really like Canva, I can embed my Canva design here for my students if that's what I built my slides in for that day. And it sets it up to where they can view it. I can also insert YouTube videos, screencastify videos of me, whatever I need to do. So whenever I am finished beautifying this page, then I'll just click save. So I finished that. Now what I need to do is build my Canvas assignment. So this is my Mesopotamia reflection. I'll just click edit. Again, when I put this in this module, I created from scratch and I didn't really do a whole lot more to it. So this is where I need to type out instructions. Again, you have all of your buttons here. So I can add all of those different options like what I just did on that page. So honestly, if you really wanted, you could build out your entire e-learning lesson using this space right here for a Canvas assignment so that it can have links to all the resources they need and it's just jumping them to this assignment to turn something in. But that's just an option. You don't have to do that. I still would recommend that no matter what you use to build your e-learning lesson, that you put it in a module so it's easy for the kids to get to afterwards. Because if they just go to the assignments menu, it's not super intuitive. That's where they need to go. Uh, and modules is a clear place for them to know. So I can put points here. I can display grade here. If I don't want this to be something that's graded, I don't have to make it graded, up to you. I can go further down, assign it, different due dates, all of those pieces. So whenever I'm finished, I'll click save. And then I'm actually gonna close these tabs. You can keep them open if you want, but I'm gonna close them. And I'm gonna come back to this page here where we were just building our module. And then what I'm gonna do, because I like to do everything at once and I have multiple clicks, I'm gonna click this to publish my module, but I'm also going to publish all of those items. 
So now my e-learning lesson materials are there. I can publish it at once. You have to have your stuff ready to go by 9 a.m. on an e-learning day and publishing it this way makes it super easy. And if I wanted to put a link to this on my Canvas homepage, super easy to do. I have this here. I can link to a course link using the link button and I have a separate tutorial video that walks you through how to do that. So helpful tip here, just make sure you're putting your e-learning lessons in a module just because it's easy to find. And that's also where we're going to be likely directing students and families who call to the hotline where to look for your lessons. So helps if there's some consistency. If you have questions, please let us know.